and um, and I'm going to save the rest of about what information I gave the FBI at that time and then how they wrote it up and, and how they were trying to structure my my testimony and alter it. And then I'll try to get into the actual evidence. It includes the, how they did alter it and made me sound totally crazy. So, and I will also continue with other things that were going on with my lawsuit after at the point that I am, you know, first made this report. So, that's it for today. I am, uh, this evening, I am still being tortured. I'm trying to talk fast and assertively despite being tortured and it's been ongoing all day. It's been extremely severe. I am in a lot of pain. I've taken six Advil, didn't do a thing. It's to the point where I can't... It's very bad. let up a little bit while I was talking. However, in my house they crank it up really high and hard to the point that, you know, basically it's like they're mocking me. Um, you know, I was implanted with these microchips. All these people made fun of the idea that I was like a Teletubby. And um, they put implants in my mouth. You know, just, I can get into how that correlates to my childhood and something that I gave my brother when I was a little girl. I gave him this little bear and I told him to call it Tubby. And he, it had a plastic face like the Teletubbies, which came out later after I was implanted with microchips, which is another story. But the bear you, had a little plastic face and then you could, the mouth was sort of open and an O, kind of a round mouth and then it had a thumb and you could put the thumb in. I think I was nine years old, my brother was about seven or so. When I got it for him, I got him got it for him in a public store and in, in public. I didn't wrap it, I just bought it and then I gave it to him there and he didn't know what to name it and I said, Call it Tubby. Sort of like a precursor to those I don't know, those little stuffed animals that people started giving each other later that had little names already attached. So, um, you know, you put a thumb in the mouth and then it's stuck in, in the plastic face. The rest of the body of this bear was cloth. So then, after 1985, when I got implanted with microchips, uh, two years later, the United Kingdom comes out with an idea for a preschool show called Teletubbies. And this is, you know, I was implanted at a university. They got money after they did this to me for tele-surgery and telepharmacy. So then one year after that, the United Kingdom is coming up with this cartoon about Teletubbies that look exactly like the bear that I gave my brother, like almost a decade earlier. And sort of feels like a mockery of me because I had little implants put into my mouth, you know, like the thumb of the bear goes into my mouth and stays there. Well, I had little microchips and other nodule things put under my chin, into my neck, and a couple other places when they did surgery for my neck. So, um, then in 2006, they did another implant through a dental filling that, as I said, vibrates, does not act typical. And so, you know, I'm in so much pain, I'm putting my finger inside my mouth and trying to press down on my tooth and where it vibrates and it radiates this sort of weird energy feeling and causes extreme pain. And, you know, here I am doing this and plugging my ear over here on this side with another finger because the pain is so bad and for some reason it, it helps a little, just a tiny bit to plug it. And it's like, I am a Teletubby, it's like this is like some colossal joke between the United Kingdom and United States criminals. And they are definitely criminals. These people are torturing me now as I try to get the truth out. They have been torturing me for years. This is completely unbelievable. 
I am I have every right to have my son returned to me. I have every right to live in peace in this country and not be chased out and have my life ruined and they have ruined my life. So and then made fun of me. You know, I certainly didn't get any of the proceeds from the Teletubby show. And um or any other little deal that was done. I haven't profited at all. There are a lot of people that have made a lot of money off of me and what's done to me. And some of them get, got just higher ground for themselves. As for me, um, I feel that my talents, I did not bury them, I did not waste them. I feel that um, I, I basically feel like I've been murdered. And probably murder would have been better if they had done that a long time ago. I think that um, it would have been more merciful than what they've done to me ever since. At this point, you know, I have a child. I don't want to be murdered. I want compensation. And I want this to stop. And I want the individuals who've been responsible for doing this and for committing torture in violation of every kind of international and domestic law, I want them to be killed or put in jail at once. So this is very top of the line secret. And I can get more into why it's secret and what my parents are able to do in their gifts and, and everything. That will come into play later. So just rambling, rambling and prefacing, but as you can see, I'm not mentally ill. I'm speaking clearly cogently in my right mind, and I am being tortured. Please, please help me, and please help my son, and I really need an international doctor who is willing to please evaluate us for evidence of torture. I think that my parents are also being tortured, but they kind of work for the government on one hand, and then other times I see evidence that they don't want to. They just have to keep up an act, and I see evidence of torture on them as well. And then I find out they're twins, which sounds really crazy, but I'll explain that later. So, okay, have a good night.